should have and use. And in my opinion, a drum set is never complete without a combo because it's a very important part of drums. So as you can see, I got a combo here. I set it up on my bass drum. I bought this uh, thing to set it up. It's very easy to set up. I don't even need to explain. It's so easy and so straightforward. Put it on, you tighten everything. Boom, 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 boom. Then you put the combo on top, you tighten the combo. And it's installed. So, about the cowbell. Cowbell, it can be used in every single style of music. And it can be used uh, in a lot of different situations in music. So, literally, sometimes if you don't have a cowbell, I'd say you're screwed. Your music is going to be very bad. So, for example, you know, the main uh, styles of music that you can play the cowbell with are Brazilian music, Afro-Cuban music, Cuban music, uh, Latin music, samba, all that stuff. So, also it can be used to play, uh, you know, to improvise, to fill in uh, certain parts of music. When you're, f when you're, uh, when you have fills, you can play the cowbell sometimes. It's a very useful instrument. So, the first thing that we're going to go over it that we're gonna go over is uh, the easiest part of how to play it. So when you're playing a normal beat, you can play the same thing on the combo. That's like the start for the like the very 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 beginner lesson. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to apply to the build. And Dave Wackel does this a lot. Also, Steve Gadd plays the cowbell a lot. And those are two of my most favorite drummers. So, for example, you're doing a fill. I'm going to show you how it sounds like to improvise with the cowbell and add it into the fill. So. Instead of using the crash to end the fill, I used the cowbell, so I hit the cowbell instead. And I saw that in a Drumeo video where Jared Falk explained that sometimes when you're having a long, fast, and like energizing fill, ending it with a cowbell like refreshes your whole entire music and like you start, like you're starting off, you can start off with a fresh new beat or something. It sometimes, in, in some scenarios, it sounds good. To end a fill with a cowbell, so or you can end with a crash. Personally, I like the crash more, but in some scenarios, ending with a cowbell will work. So now, how to play Brazilian music with a cowbell? So in Brazilian music, their bass drum always goes like this: one, two, three, four. The first note, one, you hit once, and then you go. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically it's one, and then it's the A2, A3, A4. So it's one, E, and A2, E, and A3, and A4, E, and A4. The hi hat in Brazilian music, it goes, yeah, so it basically plays. On every single end, so it's one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a when it when you combine it together, it goes like this. The cowbell, however, what it does is it plays. So uh, it's one accident note, and it's two. Plus notes. Wait. Yeah, so it's two ghosts, then two ghosts 
from spending one afternoon or notes to go so that you keep repeating it. And then the snare, you just improvise and you do like Latin sounding beats. The most common one is like. The clave, or the rumba clave. You know, you can do random stuff. You can even add in the toms in there. And the cowbell is what makes it sound good, so... These are the things about the combo. Every position you have, you get different sounds. So the higher you are on the combo, the higher the pitch sounding sounds you get. Also, when you're playing like this, you cut your stick into it. You get the that's the loudest sound you can get. When you're playing like this, these are no ghost notes. Even if you're playing them hard. This is gonna be a part. Uh, this is gonna be louder. So these count as ghost notes, and these are actual notes. Also, here you see, if you notice this, the higher it go, the higher the pitch is. Also, if you want a higher pitch, but a more loud sound like this one, you can play like this. Not with your tip, but with the side of your stick. Okay, so, um, so yeah, combo. Also, you can improvise on it, so you can do linear grooves. So, when you're playing on the hi hat, basically something linear, like. with my teacher on how to play the cowbell because it's it's a it's a type of instrument that you can do whatever you want on it you don't need to learn the proper way the only thing that you have to know how to do is what I just teach you everything else is improvisation and like I always say in every single video you have to feel the music and if you feel the music and when you're playing, you're enjoying it, and you feel the actual beat and the music, every single beat. You feel everything. You hear what every single instrument plays. You enjoy the music. Then you're gonna be able to improvise properly on the cabo. If you feel the music, you're gonna do everything properly because you're not being forced to play. When you're being forced to play and you don't like the music, you're just, you're just bored, you're just Play what you have to play. When you like the music, when you feel the music, when you enjoy playing that music, you're gonna play the right thing and you're gonna improvise the right way. So, also a good match for cowbells playing with cross sticks. So, I'm gonna show you how that sounds.
sometimes, but yeah, in some uh, grooves that you play on the tablo, sometimes you want to align your bass drum with it. Not fully, because you're going to play faster than the bass drum, of course. But some accented notes, you're going to have to sometimes uh, do the bass drum. It's, for example, when you're playing the ride, you're, and you're playing the bell on it, so... video comment down below any suggestions of videos that you want me to do also in the next video uh, I'll have more videos of course I'll keep doing videos and my next two videos are gonna be about a groove that you can play on the cowbell which is called cascara and uh, rumba clave combined together I don't know what it's called but you know rumba clave and cascara grooves combined together with a bass drum playing a Brazilian pattern, so on hi hat on the tune four. Never mind on the ends. Uh, so if you want to learn that, it's a pretty cool groove. You can play it not only on the cabo, even on the tom, on anything you want, and you can improvise with it. With it, that's the main goal of the groove. You can do. You know, you can change up the drums on it. That's what I mean change up the hands of, of sticking so thanks for watching as always uh subscribe like and don't miss out on my next videos also i'm gonna put be posting videos on how to play uh the car caravan caravan so from whiplash the movie Whip whiplash i'm gonna be posting how to play that song also, I'm going to be posting how to play Whiplash from the movie Whiplash. If you haven't seen it, it's a pretty good movie. It explains a lot about drums. And so, pretty cool. So, bye. Subscribe. Like. Ha-ha! I'm sorry for that, but all right. Bye. <laughs>